How to relocate to the United States. Foreign citizens who want to move to the United States must first obtain legal permission. The permission you seek will depend on how long you want to stay in the U.S. and the reason for your move. Once your legal documents are in order, you can begin finding a place to stay in the U.S. and start packing your belongings. Relocating to any country is a lot of work. You must remember to obtain important personal documents before leaving and become familiar with the laws of the U.S. obtaining legal permission to enter the U.S. Have an employer sponsor you. The easiest way to get permission to move to the U.S. is to have an employer sponsor your move. If a U.S. employer wants to hire you, then they can begin the process by filing a petition with the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services USCIS. As the employee, you don't begin the process. Instead, your employer files Form I-140 on your behalf. 1. Employer sponsorship allows you to stay permanently in the U.S. This permanent status is called a green card. Gain sponsorship by a family member. Family members in the U.S. might also be able to sponsor you if you don't have an employer willing to do so. Your family member starts the process by filing a Form I-130 petition with the U.S. government. A U.S. citizen can immediately petition for a spouse, unmarried child under 21, or parent to move permanently to the U.S. 3. A U.S. citizen can also petition for a married child, unmarried child over 21, or sibling. However, they don't have priority and must wait for a visa to become available before they can move to the U.S. If your family member is a green card holder, then they can petition their spouse or unmarried children of any age to immigrate to the U.S. Generally, there is a waiting period. for. Identify other ways to move to the United States. You can obtain permission to move to the U.S. in other ways. If you don't know which applies, then you should meet with a lawyer in your country to talk about your options. Here are a few. Self-petition if you have extraordinary ability. People with outstanding abilities in the arts, sciences, education, business, or athletics can petition for a green card. 5. Non-immigrant work visas. These are temporary visas that allow you to live in the U.S. for a certain amount of time. When the visa expires, you need to leave. Non-immigrant visa are available for people who work in specialty occupations that require at least a bachelor's degree, as well as for people of extraordinary ability. 6. Your employer will file a Form I-129 petition on your behalf. Intra-company transfers. A business may transfer a manager or executive from a foreign office to a U.S. office. Your employer will file Form I-129 to start the process. 7. Tourist visa. You can only stay in the U.S. on a tourist visa for six months. 8. You shouldn't get a tourist visa if you intend to stay longer. You also can't get a tourist visa if you intend to search for work. Student visa. Talk to your school about whether you qualify for a student visa. They can help you with the process. Apply for a non-immigrant visa. You can apply for a visa by contacting your local U.S. embassy or consulate. You may also apply online at https colon slash slash ceac.state.gov slash genov slash. You will need the following documents to complete form DS-160, link to reference 9, greater than 9. Passport. Travel itinerary. Dates of your last visits to the United States. Resume or CV. Your I-129 if you are getting a non-immigrant work visa ID if you are a student additional information if requested. Schedule an interview. The U.S. Department of State processes all paperwork. The State Department's National Visa Center will review the paperwork and schedule an interview with you. NVC will schedule the interview when a visa becomes available for you. Accordingly, you might have to wait a long time. Complete all necessary tasks. Before the U.S. will give you a visa, you may have to undergo a medical exam, receive immunization shots, and complete other tasks. You want to give yourself plenty of time before your consular interview to complete everything. Now is a good time to make sure your passport is valid. You won't be able to travel if it isn't. Go through all passports for your family members and update any that are nearing expiration. 11. Attend an interview. You will finish processing at a consulate or embassy. At the interview, you will review your application with a consular official. This official will check your financial, criminal, and medical records. Remember to always tell the truth to the consular official. If you are approved, you will be told when to return to pick up your visa.